Hello everyone, my name is Arden. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at LEGO set number 40681. This is the retro food truck part of the Icons line. The January 1st promotional set that is a tie-in to this year's modular or last year's modular because it released in December. Um, the Natural History Museum. This is an 18 plus set just like it's... Um, set that you combine it with. Uh, you've got two figures here and then the food truck um, and it has 310 pieces. Here is the uh, food truck. I think it's a, a very well done um, promotional set. Uh, I I was quite impressed with it. I, I like the color of it. Uh, I think the light blue, the red, and the white all goes together really nicely. Uh, this is a six-wide car fitting with any other city-sized cars and, of course, previous Speed Champion sets, not the current eight-wide Speed Champion sets. So it's the more normal system of LEGO cars, uh, whereas the Speed Champions is more of an outlier. Uh, you've got a little sign there with a couple stickers. This set does have a few stickers, which is a cool part. I would say getting exclusive aspects to this set that you wouldn't have been able to get otherwise of course you can probably build these characters you can build the build but you do need that sticker sheet to finish it off so i think that bit of exclusivity which i think is nice and you can also see it in sets like the uh lego harry potter grand staircase promo that had some nice stickers as well um that really adds to the promo, the threshold for this, I believe was 250, I might be incorrect there. It might even have been push pushing the 300 uh, threshold. Actually, I think it was 250, because if it, I, I don't believe I spent over $300 at the LEGO store January 1st. Uh, I have gotten two of these. I ordered a LEGO set a few days ago to get, um, not really to get a second one. I sort of won the set, and it was just a nice addition that the double points or the uh, pr promotional set was running um, and I got a second one so um, I think uh, the figures in here are pretty nice starting with uh, this one just a normal city uh, style of figure the face print does have a hearing aid uh, printed on the side of it which is a cool inclusion to the set the hair piece as well I believe is Falcon's one from the Marvel minifigure series 2 or a very similar one to that. It's a newer hairpiece. Um, she's got a nickel there. Uh, no leg print, just the plain dark blue legs. And the torso print, I like the necklace printed onto it. I think that's nice. Um, and the print overall on the shirt underneath, I like that you have. You can see the belt there as well, but uh, it's pretty solid. It's not too faded, which you might see on a yellow torso like that or a color similar to that. Um, the other minifigure here, the actual person selling the hot dogs here, has got no leg printing as well as striped uh, t-shirt, which carries around the back. Um, it's got tongs with a uh, hot, the actual hot dog, and then the bun and a little hat, and it seems like he's sweating there. Um, the sign is a pretty cool aspect, given that it's two-sided with um, stickers that you normally get in this set. Uh, and the deal, a ticket equals a uh, shake or a drink of some sort, which I guess that would um, tie in that if this is the uh, museum's um, promotional set, if you have a natural history museum ticket, you get a drink. Um, and yeah, um, you can see fries, uh, a hot dog, and the drink, which are all sort of Lego-fied, and you can actually see all those builds used in the set, which I thought was a fun aspect of it. The uh, food truck here uh, has got the light blue, white, and red color scheme, which I think looks nice. At the back, there's a little cart that has some mustard and ketchup. That can be taken off and folded into the truck. The license plate at the back is the set number of the set, 40681. Uh, while I was building it, I wanted to check what exactly that was and realized it's the set not uh, the set number and not a different set number for a different module or something like that. Uh, I like the sticker uh, on the side here, hot dogs and snacks. Um, 
the white color of the sticker doesn't necessarily match up with the rest of the white, uh, which is a bit disappointing as expected. You always see that with stickers like that. It just does, definitely stands out a little bit. I think the detail at the front of it is nice as well. And um, the roof can come off just like that and has uh, two studs to attach to it. There's a little uh, bit coming out of it to place a hot dog as well as the a little tarp uh, which can be folded up and down um, it's sort of connected with two sections and it can fold um, just like that so you could take those sauces off as well as that and have this drive around your city um, here is the interior of it of course being six wide it's not overly big but it is pretty detailed I like the grill at the back with the sticker the little fries using the Wolverine claw piece some other sauces and uh, spices uh, the milkshake stand or drink mixing uh, machine is a nice little build. A few drinks there as well as a seat for a minifigure. Uh, and uh, I guess a little bit extra because there is a second set of studs which you really don't have enough space to fit a minifigure but could fit some sort of accessory uh, with them. Um, and yeah, I think the build is well done. I think there's some nice details in it. I think the final product is quite good um, and I think this was a really good and well done promotional set and I'm happy that I got it uh, to go with my other Lego modulars not just the museum and uh, I think this fits cities modulars um, and many other uh, things that feature six wide cars and uh, of course getting too many figures is nice and it's just a very solid promo uh, looking at the prices, I think I saw a few for around the $25 to $30 mark, uh, and I don't really see this promo going all that much over that. Um, so, if you're interested to get it, it is past its uh, s promotional stage now, but it seems like if you are interested, it's not overly expensive, and it's not all that more expensive that it w than it would have been if it was actually a retail set. So... Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.